The first place where neural networks made a tremendous amount of difference in this scenario called computer vision, so analyzing images and videos. So let's see a few examples of how deep learning or these big neural networks can be applied to computer vision. So to do that, it's good to understand what image features are. So in computer vision, image features are kind of like local detectors that get combined to make a prediction. So let's say we take this particular image. Suppose that I want to predict whether this is a face image or not a face image. I run a little a detector, let's say a nose detector, um, eye detector, another eye detector, a mouth detector, and if all of these fire, you can do an AND using a little neural network, you can say this is a face, and that's our prediction. Now, this is a simple example of how we can build a classifier for images, but in reality, you don't explicitly have a nose detector or an eye detector. What happens is you use what are called image features or interest points. There's various names for this, but they really try to find local image segments, patches that are really distinctive. So maybe they'll find a corner and around the eye, maybe the corner around the nose. So if you have lots of these corner detectors, a face is comprised of corners, corner detector firings at places around the eye, the mouth, and you know, both eyes. And if enough of these fire in a particular pattern, you discover that you have a face. So this is how computer vision typically works. This is how classification works. Of course, there's more general models and more complex ones, but this is kind of the basic idea. For years, these types of local detectors or local features are built by hand. One, uh, the, a very popular one was called SIFT features, and this really transformed the area of computer vision because they were really quite applicable and quite cool. And then there are many others that improve their accuracy. So other kinds of features that can be used. We talked about this hand-created image features like SIFT feature. And so let's talk about the, how they can be typically used for classification. What we do is we run the SIFT textures over the image and they fire in various places. So for example, the corners of the eyes and the mouth. And then what we do is we create a vector that describes the image based on the firings, the locations where those SIFT features fired. So it might have some firings in some locations, no firings in other locations. And this can be viewed similarly to the words in a document. So does the word messy appear? Does the word football appear? Similarly, does a corner appear in a particular place in the image? Now, once we have that description of the image, we feed it to a classifier. So for example, a simple linear classifier like we talked about early in the quarter. It's not a quarter. We're teaching this online. It was earlier in the module. <laughs> So as we talked about earlier in the module, you can feed it to a simple linear classifier and some names for those are things like logistic regression, support vector machines and more. And from there, we get a detection as to whether this, is, this image is a face or not. Now that sounds pretty exciting and it has a real significant impact in the area of computer vision. The challenge though, is that creating this hand-built image features was a really complicated process and required several PhD theses to be done well. Neural networks are going to discover and learn those features automatically. Let me give you an example of that. Suppose you give you this input image and I run it through a three layer neural network before making a prediction. Typically what happens is that you learn local feature detectors, they're like SIFT, but at different levels and different layers and these detectors that you learn, they detect different things, different properties of the image at different levels. So at the first layer, you might learn a detector that look kind of like these little patches, which really react to things like diagonal edges. So this first detector here is all about capturing diagonal edges. The center one is about capturing diagonal edges in the other direction. And the last here, one here is about capturing transitions in color from uh, dark to green. Now, if we uh, look at the next layer, you're combining this edge, diagonal edge detectors and so on into kind of some kind of more complex detectors. So for example, we, we uh, discovered this wiggly uh, line and pattern detectors in the layer. You also discover this kind of 
detectors that react to corners, they tend to detect corners in the images. And at the final layers, you, you come up with detectors that are even more complicated. So for a variety of images, you might end up with things that react to uh, torsos and faces, or maybe if you have a bigger data set, even to these images of here, which are they, they fire up with images of corals. So neural networks capture uh, different types of image features at different layers, and they get learned automatically.